testing. All right. Hello again. We are live. Looks like we have things working here. So yeah, hello and welcome to the illegally cited mixer stream. This time we're doing something a little bit different again. Uh, we are in fact going to be playing an audio game, an audio game beta, as it were. <clears throat> I have not played this at all. Um, I actually just learned of this title hmm, like three, four days ago. Saw it on Twitter and went, oh, this sounds pretty interesting. We are going to be playing a little bit of The Veil. It's supposed to be kind of an action-adventure type of deal. Uh, I've watched a couple of the short trailers on YouTube, and I liked what I heard so far. I'm definitely intrigued. I'm kind of getting like a kind of an RPG adventure game kind of thing. Maybe like a, you know, a blind legend or something like that, maybe. Um, all I've done so far is I've loaded the game, and I've kind of tested the mixer interface just to see if it would, in fact, let me... Uh, stream this window because Mixer does seem to be a little bit picky about that. So uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if he's still accepting betas, but if you follow uh, Falling Squirrel on Twitter, and uh, he ha he'll have a link, and I have a link as well. I retweeted it uh, a couple days ago to the website where you can acquire the beta for yourself. And, um, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. Anyway, enough babble. Let's jump right into this thing, because I am genuinely curious what we have going here. Now, the interesting thing is most games, you know, they're keyboard controlled, and I think you can do that here, keyboard and mouse. Um, but they actually recommend playing it with a controller, and more specifically the Xbox one controller. Uh, you can probably use the Xbox 360 controller as well, as they're very, very similar. Uh, and when I booted the game, the other thing that I found interesting was that it was made in Unity, which, you know, is interesting because Unity games are typically not known for their accessibility, so I'd actually be kind of curious to see, you know, like if, you know, I don't know if the development environment in Unity is accessible. Um, I don't know, like, if there's any plugins or, you know, it seems like everything is self-voiced, so it's not going to be interfacing with your text-to-speech or screen reader or anything like that, but, um, just thought it was kind of interesting because, like you said, accessible games are generally not known, uh, to be in Unity, so, The Veil, let us see what's going on. So, as tell all it told us is, welcome to The Veil, press the right trigger to start we're gonna do that push down on the left stick to cycle through the main menu options okay I'm gonna be a rebel does the down does the d-pad work too nope okay fair enough start new game press the right trigger to select an option okay start Use the new left game. stick to cycle through options tutorials press the right trigger now to I've heard an uh, on Use Twitter the they recommended not doing options. the tutorials because it's not fully developed yet there's still some jank in there so there's actually kind of a, he said there's a tutorial kind of in the game itself. So we'll just go into the main game here in a moment, but I just want to see what the other options are. Quit game. Press the right trigger to select an option. Okay. Use the left and the, air, to the menus don't wrap, options. which are fine. Let's Tutorials. go back up. Start new game. Press Stop the right new game. To All right. An option. Let's do it. Use the left stick to cycle through options. I am curious. Actually, before I do that, let me check the stream just one more time to make sure we are, in fact live. Let me crank up my phone here. Hello. All right. We are, in fact, live. What is the veil? Let's find out. Who are you? Push sideways on the left stick to cycle options. Huh. Okay. I am Prince Alexander of Glades. I am Princess Alexandra of Glades. Huh. Press the right trigger to select. I am Prince Alexander of Glades. Okay, so you can play a male or a female Press character. Press the right trigger to select. Use you the know, in the spirit of options. a lot of 
recent games where the female character is pretty cool, you know, like Mass Effect and I think their latest Assassin's Creed game. Uh, that's supposed to have a pretty good female. Let's let's mix things up a little bit. Let's be. I am Princess Alexandra. Alexandria. Of let's do something different today. Press Why not? The, right. the king is dead. It was not a hero's death. It was the slow death of an old man. But it gave him time to plot and fuss about his affairs. Enough time, in fact, to spare a rare thought towards his second born. What to do with me? The blind girl he hid away in the keep. Would I be allowed to stand at my brother's side as he took his place on the throne? No. Even from the grave, my father would not allow me to burden the family. No less than 500 miles of barren heath and twisting veil would keep me from doing that. And now? Here I am, on the approach to my new home on the outskirts of the kingdom. Good voice acting so far. I hear a river. Where are we, Uncle? We're crossing now. You, Alex, are officially home. Describe it for me. I would think the smell of sheep would provide all you need to know. You could have <laughs> said something nice. Made something up. Honesty is the greatest gift a princess would receive. Then you spoil me, Uncle. Why would it be my father's dying wish to send me to the Borderlands? Your brother is king. Your father wanted you to have something of your own. That's honesty. Even a dead father wanted his sightless daughter as far away as possible. I wanted you to have something of your own. From one second born to another, it's not an easy thing being in someone's shadow. I like the shadows. You hear yeah. more honesty there. You will make a wise Indeed. lady. Even out here in the borderlands. No. I'll make some chieftain's son a disappointing wife. You'll be just fine. As long as you can tell the difference between the men and the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> nice humor so far. <laughs> oh! Oh! My lord. What is it? Odetan riders from the northwest. How many? An army, my lord. Can we make the castle? No. They're on us now. Looks like we're rocking some uh, binaural audio here. Two arms! Wait here, Alex. Uncle? Uncle! Alright, he ran off. Rode off. Arrows? Oh, hello. Uncle! Oh yeah, we're, we're getting powder. Uh, carriage is... Holy crap. Damn, man, that's a lot of arrows. Holy... I think, uh, I'm surprised we're not dead. Wow. Nice audio. You definitely, uh, if I haven't, uh, I should have said earlier, you should be watching Alex. this with headphones. Alex! Are you okay? Who's that? It's your brother, Theo. Theo, yes. Uh, what happened? We were playing Blind Seeker. He fell down the stairs of the loft. This always happens to me, doesn't it? What? Because you're the only one who can't cheat. Everyone else peeks under the blindfold. No. Rolf tricked me. He led me to the edge of the stairs. Well, the little Ted is hiding by the mill wheel right now. I won't say anything to Father if you were to be careless with your cane as you search there. Push <laughs> up on the left stick to move forward. Push sideways on the left stick to turn on the spot. Hmm. Okay. That's going to feel a little bit weird for me as somebody who plays uh, regular Xbox games, uh, you know, console games. I'm used to turning with the right stick. Maybe there could be an option later. Um, you know, we'll move left, right, forward, backward, and then strafe. That could be maybe more of an advanced option. So let's... I hear the wheel to my left. Sounds like animals over on my right. Let's go toward the water wheel. Didn't he say water wheel? He's right there. Go ahead. Swing. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Oh, okay. Think. Ah! Yes. Ah, stop it! Ah! 
Alex. I'll hit you. Hit the princess. That's great. I don't think so. <laughs> Are you done, Alex? Start yes. a game beating. Then the game is over. Beating Rule somebody with your cane. Back in That's the excellent. I love it. Oh, back in the kitchen. Did that feel good, Alex? Kinda. Thank you, Theo. It's what brothers are for. <laughs> I like it. Never mind, I know the right stick is used for something else you now. You wanted to see me, Uncle? I've heard you found a new use for your cane. Theo told you about the kitchen boy. Theo told me how you stood up for yourself, yes. He promised he wouldn't say anything. I promised I wouldn't tell father. And he did not. You may go, Theo. Yes, uncle. Okay, this must be like a flashback, I'm thinking, as what like is a my tutorial. Punishment? Boys like Rolf are why I chose never to have children. <laughs> if anyone should be blamed, it's me. There are things I should have taught you years ago. So, I'm here for a lesson? If you wish. All yeah. right. What do I do? You listen. Carefully. I stand directly in front of you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to swing your cane at me. You want me to hit you? Yes. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. All right. Swing at me. Now. Bring it. Very good. Now, when I move. Your head will remain facing forward, as to right. conceal your level of awareness from your enemy. My enemy? I said, listen. Any time now. Swing. Very good. Now, I'm moving to stand directly in front of you again. I want you to swing as many times as you can, as fast as you can. That's good. Know your limit. You want to be selective with your strikes. Okay, we're gonna have you will a... will be limited to only a few consecutive strikes stamina before meter. you must pause to catch your breath. Got it. An exhausted okay. fighter is a dead fighter. Indeed. And what do you think is the first rule of combat? Don't die? Precisely. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. Yep. Okay, now we're back. Alex! Uncle! Can you stand? Uh, yes. I can't reach you. Head for the river. The river? Follow the sound of the water. Hide along the bank. I'll come for you. Ah! Okay. No! I wonder if I can fall in the water. Whoa, howdy, how you doing? He said, follow the river. Whoa, hi. I keep wanting to uh, use my right stick to turn. Uh, uh, what? Another way, then. Not this way. Another way, then. Made it. Oh, okay. Wasn't quite sure what they were going. Okay, so now we have it on Missing our right. Audio. Establish that Alex will wait for Uncle by the river. She falls asleep. Okay. So we're hiding under a ledge or something. Alright, wolves. And we don't have any graphics. Who's we that? just have little Uncle? Little dots to kind of represent audio. Oh. Okay. All right, we're going to beat people. Do we have a cane or a sword? You like yeah. sticks? I don't... <laughs> Go get it. Okay. Nope. Oh. Now we're going to beat you with Got a heavy stick. one here now. Fair warning. You're getting this one on the muzzle. Hell yeah. <laughs> ah! Some too? Alright then. Well, 
I won't be sleeping anymore. <laughs> Where are you, Uncle? This is really the, the audio design. Like, missing I like the audio. music. Establish oh, audio. that Alex decides to take the road home alone. Okay. Yeah, so there's a lot of place Who's marker there? stuff in here. Friend or foe? Depends. Are you with the Odeden Riders? No. I I'm no unarmed. Idea. I have no money. <coughs> I'm not out to rob you. You're limping. You're injured. You're blind, but perceptive. Yeah, you can tell Friend by the sound. Friend or either. foe? You're highborn. You're not from the borderlands. And you? A shepherd. Where's your flock? In the bellies of barbarians. We are not foes, then? It would appear not. I hear men approaching. Are they the King's Guard? Afraid not, girl. This is where we part ways. Good luck. Wait! Ooh, what do we him. have here? Looks like a shiny prize to me. Cut her down before she runs off. The general's not looking for hostages. Oh, you made the wrong choice, son. What are we doing, Uncle? You are going to learn how to use a sword today. Ah. My father wants me to learn how to use a sword. In truth, no, he does not. But I However, do. A princess and future protector of the realm need first be able to protect herself. Wouldn't that be my brother's job? Good reasoning. Protector of the realm. Firstborns get killed every day, girl. You're going to learn this. Here, take this sword. Grip it. Firmly. You know I've never cared that you're blind. And our enemies will not care about that either when they set out to kill you. Now, Amen. I want you to swing your sword at me. Don't worry, the blade is not sharp. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Okay. Excellent. As you can hear, your attacks are easy for me to parry as long as I'm not trying to do something else. Something else? Like what? Like but, hitting you. Yeah. Uh, that Ow. Now, if you don't want that to happen again, you're going to have to hit me first. And if you're quick enough, I won't be able to parry. Are you ready? I suppose. Listen for sounds that lead into my swing. My armor, the shift of my weight, and swing the second you hear it. Hmm. Okay. Too late. Too late? What? Excellent. One more oh. time. Excellent. Now, oh, so, so you do it before he goes... Uh. No? Too bad. Strike me three times and you win. All right. Oh, and I'm going to move around this time. Of course. All right. Very good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Very good. That's three for you, niece. Well done. All right. I wonder if they'll actually have... I know like you enemies think you behind need to you. Learn this, but our enemies are unyielding and they show no mercy. Not for the young, nor the old, nor the blind. I want you to be strong. Even stronger than your brother, because no one knows what the future might hold for you. I like him because he's not coddling oh, right, her. He's like, here, just like everybody else, they're not going to care. What are you staring at? Hurry up! We don't have all day. Bring it. Dude, just sit down. Get out of here. You don't know who you're messing with, man. Oh, you want some too? 
<clears throat> mm, sure you do. Think it through. You don't want any of this. Damn it. Damn right. I'll do it myself. Haha. <laughs> You are weak. I mean, you're stupid, so we're even. <laughs> Ow! Is that the shepherd? Yes. Take oh, okay. Hand. Where are you taking me? Safety. I wasn't sure. I like, I couldn't nearby. do anything. Okay. Well, that was fun. Sorry, girl, for running off. I was in no shape to fight. What's a lame shepherd going to do against practiced killers? I suppose I should thank you for coming back. Good Extreme thing you can swing a stick. Here. Everyone in the Borderlands can swing a stick. No room for weakness out here. I need to get back to the capital. To my brother. The capital, eh? Hmm. What are you doing out here? Merchant family? My family is very wealthy. There would be a reward if I was escorted back safely. Hmm. Escort a blind girl 500 miles down a treacherous valley in the wake of an invading horde. Not sure what reward would be worth that. What would you do with me then? Teach you to tend sheep. Get your pretty hands dirty. You could buy a thousand sheep with the reward my family could provide. A thousand? Must be some family. <laughs> or you don't know the price of sheep. Do you have a name? Alex. Alex. Call me Shepherd. Okay. Shepherd. Shepherd. <laughs> Thinking of Mass Effect Alex 2. It will depend on where the Odedan decide to settle in. Oh, what was that guy's name? Well, I can heal up. Shepherd. Who we can find to help us on the way. My uncle and I were traveling with a guard when we were attacked. They may still be around. No chance. If that horde set upon them, they would have been killed. I'm still here. Then you weren't worth the trouble. Get some rest. It will be safer to travel at night. I suppose you're indifferent to the dark. Thank you, Shepard. Don't thank me yet, sheep. The valley home is long and winding. Mm -hmm. And conceals more than just barbarians. And wolves. Alex, pay attention. Yes, Uncle. Now, as a blind fighter, you will be well served to have a shield. Left trigger? Now take it here with your left hand. It's heavy. As it should be. Now, this time, when I swing at you, I want you to raise your shield. Hold the left stick in the direction of your target to block. Oh. Are you ready? Sure. Okay. Huh. Raise your shield. Very good. Okay. Now, right after you block my attack, you'll have a split second to counterattack. You're not as likely to severely wound your enemy this way, but it's a more defensive way to fight. Give it a try. Block my attack and immediately counterattack. Okay. Use the left stick to block your target, then immediately counterattack using the right stick. Yeah, I got this. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. Another game, then. Defeat me any way you want. Attack as I swing, or block and counterattack. On guard, girl. Okay, now we'll block this time. Okay, you're going to the left. There we go. I like the other way better. Well, it shows different enemies at all. Once again. Well done, niece. Indeed. You're welcome. <clears throat> Wake up. What is it? Odeden. They've set up camp on the ridge above us. We have to get moving. Follow me. This way. It's a raiding party. They supply the horde as it moves. I'm afraid this won't be the last one we run into. 
Describe it for me. Twenty warriors, spread out mm. across the clearing. No room to get around. No central fire. They probably don't like each other much. Excellent. I need a sword. They must all be and destroyed. Shield. What are you going to do with those? Use them, if I have to. I'll draw them away. You stay here. Oh, come on. Wait. I'll come back for you. My uncle promised me the same thing. I'm a cunning shepherd. I won't get caught. Hmm. Damn it. Told you. What was that? What do we have here? No, wait. Yeah, fortune signs upon us. <laughs> it's the royal brat. We have our orders. Kill her and bring her to the general. No. Oh, wait, what? Uh... Alex, are you listening? What? You were off somewhere. I said, I'll draw them away. You wait here. No, wait. I'll come back for you. It's not going to work. It's too dark. We'll move together. I'll lead. Don't be stupid. I'll be right back. Okay, no, that... You won't. Uh, weird. Because I tried to Just block. We'll need to get to the river. Here, look what I found. It's quite dull. You won't cut yourself at least. I think this shield is actually a pot lid. Thank you. I guess. Okay. So are we going to have stealth, or do we have a choice whether we can do stealth or combat, or... Hmm. So... If I... to go around him. Let's see if we can. I hear the fire. Let's see if we can stealth this. Missing audio. Establish that Alex and the Shepherd will search for a safe village. Heck yeah, I'm a ninja. I could have fought him, but I just wanted to see if if I could do stealth. Sweet. This is cool do you so know this far. Village? No, I don't travel this far east. Describe it for me. Well, it looks like a village. Too small and out of the way for the horde to bother with. There's a smith. Some cellars, a tavern. Your leg. Are you going to be all right? Not without clean dressings and herbals. I don't have any money. You'll have to sell something. Your clothes, maybe. My clothes? You must be worth something, and peasant clothes will draw less attention. Have a look around. <laughs> have a listen around. I'll be at home here with the animals. Okay, so she'll be at the animals. a young woman who knows a thing or two about finer things. I know a merchant from the capital when I see one. I can give you an excellent price on the furs. Won't find pelts this warm west of Riverton. Actually, I'm looking to sell my cloak. Ah, oh, I see. Times is hard for me, too. Not sure what I could afford. A hundred copper? Ah, I mistook you for a fellow merchant. I see now that you're a highway robber. <laughs> Why don't you just take my entire car while you're at it? I could also throw in what's left of my teeth, if you like. What do you want, then? <laughs> Ten copper. Final offer. Now who's the thief? 
Whoa, 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 no, no, now that I see the cloak from the back, it's very nice. A little muddy, perhaps, but nice. Fifteen copper. Truly, my final offer. Twenty. Done. Uh, I do have nicer customers to attend to. That's five. Ten. Uh, if you don't mind me saying, you don't seem to see too well, do you? If you shortchange me, I'll be back here with my friends. Just making small talk, no need to take offence. So, that's fifteen. Twenty. Copper has agreed. Nice doing business with you. Well, are you just gonna... Silks! Warm furs! We have you covered north to south! Alright. So when he was, you know, talking about my blindness, I, you know, he did the 5, 10, and then he just went for the last stuff, so it's like, I wonder if there's a way to check to see if he did screw me, and there could be a side quest of, like, what do you do if he did screw you over? Are you good or bad about it? I don't know. Alright, let's see what this chick has to say. You looking for something, love? I'm looking for healing supplies. Well, you've come to the right place. What do you need? Dressings for a wound and something for infection. Are you hurt, love? No, it's for my friend. Can you bring him in? I can have a look. I don't think so. I'll just take the supplies. It'll be ten copper for the bandages and poultice. Here you are. There you are, love. Best of luck. Herbals, essentials. Yeah, let's go see what this church is about here. Herbals, essentials, tonics, anointments. Ooh. This way. Herbals, essentials, tonics, anointments. I want to go see the church thing though first. I want to go see the church bells and the blacksmith. Another way then. Oh, fine. Another way then. Ooh, blacksmith. Over here, sheep. I have the supplies. Thank you. Do you need help with the dressing? I know what I'm doing. Not my first blade wound. I've spent more time in pastures, fending off men than wolves. Just stream again. Oh, well. Yeah. I suppose you're not used to sleeping with livestock. Thankfully, no. No warm, at least. I'll need a couple of days before I can travel, but it will give us time to collect a few things. We'll need a bow for hunting and money. Don't suppose you know a trade? I'd like to find a better weapon. Perhaps some armor. <laughs> a sheep in wolves' clothing. I suppose it will make bandits on the road think twice. Get some sleep, Alex. Hmm. I'm digging this so far. All right. We should head to the tavern first and inquire about work. Won't get anywhere without money. Okay. I hear a potion. That's the herbal chick. Okay. I wonder, is this the tavern? The music here? Here we are. The local okay. watering hole. Emphasis on the word hole. <laughs> Should we go in? Yeah. Press right trigger to enter. Left trigger to leave. Sure. Pretty empty, but I guess it couldn't hurt to ask around. Push sideways on the left stick to cycle through interactions of interest. Okay. I'm too old to be wandering around the wilderness, but I have heard there is a stolen strong box in a cave north of here. The thieves are gone, but the box is still there, apparently. Why would they abandon it? I don't know. It's just what I've heard. And the account was very detailed. They hid the box behind a waterfall at the back of the cave. 
What do you think, Shepard? I think it's an excellent way to get ambushed by a cave full of thieves. Press right trigger to take up this quest. Okay. Use the left we dip. could at least see if the cave exists. At the first sign of trouble, we turn back. No. Okay. Can I take... What do I know? Can... See, can, I wonder if I can queue up multiple quests, like in a regular RPG. And then I can, like, switch waypoints well, on the fly the or something. Was right. I can see the opening. Describe it for me. It looks wet and dark. I don't see any footprints in the mud. Perhaps we are safe to enter. It's very dark. I can hear the water. Follow me. Okay. Heading to our waterfall. I see the box. I think hey, I buddy. know why the thieves left. I think we got a grizzly. A very angry looking bear. Uh-huh. Yes. You're right. Let's see if this was worth it. Ah, now my controller is vibrating because I did get hit. It's no wonder they left it. Got a little well, bit of a heartbeat sort least. of a thing. <clears throat> now, I don't have any indication, like, how do I know what my health is? Okay, we have a little money. Let's see about getting that bow. We should how much for the smith. Like, how much money do I have? What is my health? See, now I'm back in town, so maybe I'm just on full health, my health gains back. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm thinking too, like, maybe too advanced. I'm thinking about, like, traditional uh, things here. Okay, so let's... Eh. Alright, blacksmith. Here we go. Can I help you? We're looking for a bow, and perhaps a little steel for the road east. You know that the horde is on the march. Well aware. <sighs> Thank you. I haven't done much in weapons since the local garrison left years back, but I have a couple of salvage pieces laying around. Push sideways on the left stick to cycle through items of interest. Press left trigger to leave. Hmm. I have this sturdy sword for 30 copper. Press right trigger to consider purchase. So, consider purchase. How much? See, yeah, how much money do I have? That will be 30 copper. Press right trigger to buy item. Press left trigger to consider other options. <sighs> Push sideways on the left stick to sign. I have this old hunting bow for 15. Press left press trigger, right trigger to, to consider purchase. See, I don't know how much money I have. I, I mean, I don't remember. Like, I forget what she said. That chest held, and I got that money when I sold my cloak. I guess she said we wanted a bow. We got to get some food and whatever, maybe some pelts or something. So let's grab that will the bow. Be 15 copper. But Press see, we need right the arrows too. To item. Press left trigger to consider other options. See, I don't know. And like I said, there wasn't any other tutorial to say like, oh, hit, you know, hit the X button for status or money or in, you know. That's something they can add later. I mean, f all right, let's do it. That. And if you're headed east, you will need it. Push sideways on the left stick to cycle through items of interest. The blade. Press right trigger to consider. That will be thirty copper. Can I afford Press it? Right trigger. Can't afford it yet. Okay. The bow. Press right. I think this leather chest piece and bracers might fit you. You can have it for fifty. Press. This oak shield should serve you better than that pot lid you're carrying. We'll say uh -huh. 20 copper. Press right trigger to consider purchase. I'll be going now. Thank you. Always welcome. Okay, so I got my bow. We can move on now. So now we can probably Unless go hunting. Collect more supplies for the journey. Press the option button at any time to bring up your travel map. Uh, option button. Is that this one? Uh. We are in a village called Braga. Push right on the left stick to consider travel to new places. 
Okay. Push left to return to the places you've been. Hmm. Rivertown is four days' journey from here. Press the right trigger to begin travel. Press left trigger to leave the map. This concludes the Veil demo. Thank you for playing. No! You can also check out the hunting demo. It is under tutorials in the main menu. Oi! No, I was just getting into this. Falling Squirrel presents The Veil. Oy. Press the right trigger or spacebar to begin. Oh, man. I was just getting into that. I... I really, really want this game to be, like, I want, and not just to be a couple hours long, like, I hope, you know, and even if they have to get extra, like, crowd, crowdfunding, you know, a Kickstarter or whatever, what is here is extremely solid. Um, I had no trouble finding any of the waypoints in the town. Um... The audio was really good. You know, you have your binaural audio. The character voice acting was also good. I like the sound effects. And you had a little bit of, you know, like the little kind of dots flashing around just to indicate and have something on the screen. But no, you can't cheat. I was wondering when I saw the title screen, when I booted this thing up, I wondered, you know, oh, okay, we got a nice little, uh, uh, the veil title here and... You know, so I wondered if there were going to be rudimentary graphics, or if there is a plan to have rudimentary graphics, but I am totally fine with the way it is now, not having any graphics during gameplay. And uh, so, like I said, uh, so you hit the, um, you know, you basically hit your back button or your, your menu button, whatever the heck it's called, and that's just kind of your map location sort of a thing. I wonder if I could have explored the town a little bit more. Like I said, they had that bell sound. I don't know if that was like a church I could have gone into and maybe gotten another side quest. Um, maybe I could have gone to the tavern and seen if there was any other side quests. And, you know, maybe I could have, you know, done little things to, uh, you know, to even before we ended the demo, maybe I could try to afford the sword or the, the, you know, all my items. I had the sword I could buy, the shield, the armor. I bought the bow. Um, boy, yeah. And the main thing that I would say is I, I would like a easy button to maybe go into a menu, like maybe I could hit X or Y or whatever, um, I could see two different menus. I could see one for your inventory, obviously. So if I needed to use consumables, food, potions, what have you, I could air, you know, arrow through those and then hit right trigger to hit them or whatever it is. And then just have another menu, like a status menu, where I could up and down arrow to see, oh, okay, maybe uh, here's my XP level. I don't know if we're going to have leveling up or XP or if it's just like a journey... Uh, I don't know how in-depth this necessarily is going to be, but, um, you know, your your XP, if there is any, your, um, <clears throat> how much gold do you have, what is your health, like I said, I got hit once during that bear battle, I wasn't quite sure what audio cue to search for, so I just started swinging, but, um, and then when I got hit, I noticed that there was a you know, uh, like there's a controller vibration, so I'm guessing the more I get hit, the faster the vibration would be. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the framework is definitely, definitely here. And, like I said, I, th I think the most disappointing thing about this is that it's over. <laughs> I was just getting sucked in. Uh, I was just getting sucked in. I'm like, oh, maybe I can try hunting, or maybe I get to see another town, or... And then, poof, demo's over. I'm like, no, that is a real bummer. Well, um, jankiness aside, uh, let's see if we can do this uh, other training. I want to see this hunting thing. Let's see if it works.
Uh, Push okay, down here we on go. the left stick to cycle through the main menu options. Load game. Press the right trigger to select an option. So I wonder if the left stick if I loaded game. Options. I wonder if that would bring me to the point right before I went to the blacksmith. So maybe I could wander around. Let's do that really fast. Because I just want to see where it puts me. Falling Squirrel presents the veil. <sighs> okay, Press that the right didn't trigger work. or space bar to begin. Uh. Push down on the left. Load game. Press start new game. Press load game. Load game. Damn it! Oh man! I was hoping it would have had my last save right in the village, so I could have maybe explored more. But it just brings me back to the title. Boo! So I'm not going to be able to go back unless I play through the whole sequences again to get to the point of the village. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, I guess we'll go. Start new game. Tutorials. Sure, let's go. Push down on the left stick to cycle through the menu options. Press left trigger, sword tutorial, shield tutorial, combat demo. Press the right village demo. Press the right trigger to select. An oh, option. okay. Use the left stick to cycle through. So maybe options. I can go to the village. Hunting demo. Let's Press try the that. Right trigger to... Let's do the hunting one first. I'm not supposed to be outside of the keep. What if we get caught? Father's not even in the city. What okay, about Uncle? No he has you swinging a sword. Why not shooting a bow? I suppose. What am I shooting? There are pigs that come around here looking for scraps in the evening. I don't want to kill anything. The arrows mm, are blunted. I bacon. doubt they would even go through parchment. <laughs> There's one now, just at the tree line. Do you hear it? Yes. Let's move in slowly to set up the shot. Use the left stick to move in on your target. Push only part way on the stick to move quietly. Okay, piggy. Piggy. We should move closer. I'm just inching forward. We should move closer. I am. There. Perfect. He's frozen. He knows we're here. Any closer and he'll run off. Center your target by pushing sideways on the left stick. Pull the right trigger to draw your bow and release to fire. Yeah! You hit it. Bringing home the bacon. Ooh, there's Hashtag a nice fat one. Home the bacon. Do you hear it? It's peeing on that tree. <laughs> it's close enough. You can shoot from here. You just missed. Try again. Uh, Rolf? Honest mistake, Rolf. Oh, she was man. For a pig. <laughs> I was spitting your food, you know. That I was wondering. Nice. But it was worth it. I what heard if the he human tries thing. something to get back at me? He oh. won't. You know, Uncle and I will always protect you. Even when you're busy being king. Especially the human when I'm busy being like, king. Ow, and then I'm like, oh, crap. Even my brother played one on, played a trick on me. Okay, Falling I like the little presents. ribbing. You know, the little ribbing the that the characters have Press back and right forth with each other. You know, space it's, bar to begin. That's great. You know, a little, uh, little humor. A little like, okay, you know, we're not, we're not exactly making fun of that you're a blind character, but like, you know, we we do. I mean, come on, these are things that like. <clears throat> my my brother is fully sighted. And, you know, I'm sure I can't remember any specific examples, but, I mean, I'm sure he played, tried to play some joke on me. I mean, I'm sure in school kids played jokes on me. I just don't remember or, you know, <laughs> blanked it from my mind. But, you know, I mean, it doesn't necessarily seem, although getting hit with an arrow, ow, that's got to, hmm, that's maybe a little far. Unless they're, well, no, because she, 
nailed the pig. So I was like, that's got to be sharp arrows. I was thinking maybe unless I use like a training arrow that was like, you know, some kind of padded target arrow or something. But, uh, ow. <laughs> that was, I wasn't expecting him. I was like, okay, I'm, I'll take you yeah, at your word. I didn't even consider that it was a human. Um, well played, game. Well played. All right, let's go. You know what? Let's go back to the village because I just want to see. Um, Push down on the left stick to cycle load gauge. I mean, I don't know Press that right that tutorial worked fine. Option. Use the left so stick to cycle. So I don't know options. what they were talking about as far as being janky. Um, I thought that tutorial worked great. Start new game tutorials. Push yeah, down let's on go the in left here. stick to sword tutorial. Did Press that. Shield tutorial. Did that. Combat demo. Did Press the right trigger. Village demo. Hunting demo. Press the right trigger to select. Okay, that's it. Village demo. So let's Press go into the demo. So instead of loading the game, we're actually just doing the scenes here. We should think about setting out. Press the option button at any time to bring up your travel map. All right, cool. I'm going to go see what this church thing is. Come on, where's the... There we go. Oh. Not this way. Yes, I oh. can't. Oh, you know what? Let's go to the bar, because maybe I can get another quest. Where is... Press right click. Yeah. See if we can Pretty get another side empty, quest. But I guess it couldn't hurt to ask around. Push sideways on the left. I was supposed to meet my cousin here. I have a shipment of silks for him. Why he'd be trying to sell Oh, cool. We do have more quests. I spoke Sweet. with your cousin. He was selling outside the tavern. Well, he's not now. I've been told he ran afoul with the local fur traders. He's negotiating with them at their camp. I was hoping to find someone to accompany me there. Do we look like bodyguards? Ha! <laughs> no. But you're obviously not from the village, so I can trust you would be reliable witnesses on my behalf should something go wrong. I also think showing up with a blind girl and a mysterious cloaked woman will keep the trappers guessing. I could pay you 50 copper, assuming I make it back Ooh. here safely. Well, then I could, right afford, to take up this I could afford the, the sword for sure. To move on to we'll do it. Yeah, let's do it. I kind of liked your cousin. Well, you'd be the first. <laughs> oh, wow. That sounds cool. I love the way the thunder in the 3D audio escape sounds. Cousin, tell them our offer. They want me to give them all my money and all my wares and head home with you, never to return here again in exchange for me life. What I failed to understand is that me life ain't worth a third of that on the open market. It seems to me, cousin, that you don't have much of a bargaining position here. And on the contrary, you see, I hid the pelts, and if they kill me, they will never find them. And if you tell them where they are? Well, then they'll probably kill me anyway. Well, damn, that sounds cool. This is some of the oh, coolest sounding right. like thunderstorm. Cousin, we should leave now. Oh. No, oh, please help me. Help me. You can have your cloak back. Stand aside. Let go, Alex. I said stand aside. No. 
He stays with us. To hell with you! Oh, shit. Yeah, he's down. Eat it. That was reckless, Alex. We couldn't leave him. And why not? How could I ever thank you? How about giving us the 50 copper your cousin promised us? Oh, that works. All right. I, I was about 35. Oh, you dirty... I jest. I jest. <laughs> 50 copper, and I, I, I'll throw in a couple pelts. Yeah? Man, I don't know. There's something about the way... Th the way How that sounded... Press the option button at any time to bring up the way that thunder. And I have a good headset, but like that just sounded really cool. All right, uh, let's go to the tavern again. Actually, let me check the stream one more time just to make sure. Come on. Ah, I didn't mean to close the app. Come on. Hello. All right, we are good. Yeah, let's go uh, see if we can cause some more trouble at the tavern, shall we? Here we are. Should we go in? Absolutely. Pretty empty, but I guess it couldn't hurt to ask around. <laughs> Push <laughs> sideways. I've done it again. The Ooh. stable master is going to kill me. What have you done, girl? A horse I was watering got away. It belongs to a rich patron. I came in here hoping that someone might be able to help me. <laughs> it's up in the meadow above town, but I can't corral it on my own. What can you offer us for help? Nothing, but my thanks. That's the problem, isn't it? Press right trigger to take up this quest. Yeah, we'll see what Press happens. Left stick we can help. On. What are you doing? We need to focus on getting you home. How's this going to help us? It will help me sleep better. Thank you. We'll go now. Heck yeah, cool. We get more gameplay. I didn't want to quit playing. There she is. In the center of the pasture. You're the shepherd? What do we do? We'll spread out and move in on it slowly. Slowly, Alex, or it will run off again. Okay, horsey. Easy, girl. You did it! Thank you! I am forever in your debt. You're quite welcome. That'll come into the story later if she can't help us now. Usually that's RPG logic. Or video game logic. Alright, it's another little sneaky thing. About setting out. Press the option button at any time to bring up your travel map. Well, let's go to the tavern again. This is really intuitive, too. I just... And I like... You know, it's probably a fairly... You know, it's... It's a simple layout, you know, we're not having to navigate between streets and down paths and things, but, like... For, at least for the most part in this village, but... <clears throat> it just... It feels perfectly natural. Um... You know, we're not having a lot of... Ex you know, it's not a PC game where you have, like... Okay, I need half the keyboard to have beacons and radars and sound effects and, you know, whatever. Uh, it just feels really nice on a controller. 
Here we are. Should we go in? Press right. Mm hmm. Pretty empty, but I guess it couldn't hurt to ask around. Oh, oh no. Oh. Not this way. Not Looks this like way. We, we may have exhausted our every, everything uh, we can do there, guys. Another way, then. Another way, then. Because we're right in front of it, and we're... I tried using left and right, and it seems like we're outside again. Because now I can go this way. Well... We are in a village called Braga. Push right on the left stick to consider travel to new places. Push left to return to the places you've been. Rivertown is four days' journey from here. Press the right trigger to begin travel. Press left trigger to leave the map. We are in a village called Braga. Push right on the left stick to consider travel to new places. Push left to return to the places you've been. Alright, so we don't have a whole bunch of... We've only been to one village, so I, we can't really go through... I, I'm guessing it's kind of a like a fast travel system, like if we're going to a whole bunch of villages and maybe camps and towns and farmsteads or whatever. You know, as we get further in the game, the full game comes out, um, we'll be able to go that way, because I hit left and it just doesn't do anything. You get the little door knock sound. So we'll go to this and end the end this current session. Rivertown. Because it looks like we've pretty much exhausted here. everything. Press the right thing. trigger to begin travel. This Press concludes it. the Veil vale demo. No. Thank you for playing. And also check out the hunting demo. It is under tutorials in the main menu. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Kill the pig and shoot another guy in the ass. That was pretty good. The <laughs> Veil. I did Press not right see that coming. I did not see that coming. That was a good, uh, unexpected moment there. Well done. So, yeah, um, I guess that wraps up this Mixer stream. I can't really think of anything else that there is to do. Uh, which is kind of a bummer, because... Like I said, I think this is a fantastic start um, I don't know when the you know I there there was a link to an audiogames.net forum where you could originally sign up for the beta and I haven't looked at the discussion thread I just basically wanted to find out the link to sign up for the the, sur or the survey for the uh, getting the beta access or early access to the demo and uh, I'm going to have to visit that thread because I need, I really, really need to find out what they're thinking for a general ETA on this game because this is absolutely one that I would consider purchasing uh, right away because this is, uh, like I said, I just, I wasn't thinking, you know, I, I wasn't struggling with the controls, I wasn't really confused at all. Um, I was really digging the environmental sound effects and the music is good. And yeah, like I said, other than those few suggestions I had earlier, um, really, really good start. And um, you know, like I said, I'm hoping that they have more, more of the game in progress or more of the game finished than what they actually chose to uh, show for the demo. Because... Like I said, this is a game, if, again, if you could do something substantial, I would play a game like this for, you know, several hours. This seems like kind of like an RPG, an adventure RPG. And it kind of makes me wish that other games really controlled, you know, like a nice, simple way like this. Uh, oh, God, what was that game that I covered right away this year? Uh, it was that... Oh, is that RPG where you were? It was again. It was a medieval thing, and I was having trouble. Like yeah, I went to the castle, and uh, I can't. 
remember what the name of it was. But it's under my PC accessible game spotlight video. I mean, it was a, it was another awesome game. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely go check out that uh, playlist, and you'll likely find it there. I can't think of the name at the moment, but uh, yeah, just something about kicking back with a controller, being comfortable. And I guess we're gonna have to wrap it up here, guys. So I'm going to. Stop the stream here. I will archive this on the Illegally Cited YouTube channel, so if you didn't catch it live, uh, you're probably watching this on my YouTube channel, of course. And if you are watching the archive, like I said, follow me on Mixer, mixer.com slash bgfh. And if you follow me, you will get notifications when I go live. And I also try to announce when I go live on Twitter at BGFH79. Like tonight, I about an hour, excuse me, about an hour beforehand, I said, yeah, I think I'm going to go stream something in about an hour. Went and grabbed something to eat real quick. Did a couple other odds and ends and then uh, started the show. So, yeah, Mixer.com slash BGFH and at BGFH79. If you are watching this uh, stream live on Mixer, go to youtube.com slash illegally cited for all kinds of other PC and iOS accessible games, some mainstream games, some hardware reviews. I just did a whole bunch of Apple stuff the last couple, uh, last month or so. Got the iPad, new iPad review, I got the new Apple Watch, the iPhone XS Max, and oh dear god, my wallet hurts. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and until next time, I will chat with you guys again later.